What the hell deal? Mom's had me at this. And then look, we had a blowout. My glass pretty sick. Got the big ass four on that hoe. Kind of iron these though. They got a lot of good stuff I like. That's the problem. I got a good selection out here, boy. Oh man, the other day we had Ronnie on the show. He said he finally doing my door panels. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, y'all. I gave Ronnie a whole car one time to do my interior. Plus I paid for the materials like five, six years ago. <laughs> it's still not done, but he's gonna do it. Uh, he said he actually came yesterday to pick him up. I didn't, ha I hadn't brung him, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully he does pick him up. I'm about to leave. I'm gonna leave him here. Uh, well, we'll see if he get him done. I'll click, I'll click the camera on whenever he bring him back, hopefully. Alright, the other day, B took off a few of these parts. Whew, it looks a little overwhelming with all them wires going everywhere and nothing in this engine compartment. But hey, whenever you see something overwhelming like this, just tell yourself how you eat an elephant. One motherfucking bite at a time, son. <laughs> oh, shit. Came over here for like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, there's some more wire. I ain't gonna lie. We done pulled all types of shit off. Uh, maybe going back. Nah, we just... Man, you really don't need that many wires going back. Because uh, it was a fuel injector and we're going carburetor. So, most of them wires ain't even going to get plugged back in. We'll worry about the wires later. Right now, we want to make this look good. We were going to just spray it like it is now, just clean it up a little bit more. But I told B, it's going to be a lot more work, but it's going to come out clean if we take out these fender wells. That's crazy. The Cadillac ones are, are plastic. Uh, you know, mostly Chevy ones are metal. And I told him that sometimes that, that, that paint don't adhere to this plastic well. So maybe before we spray these, we try to just clean them up and get that plastic look black again. Maybe. But it'd be better off the vehicle. And then, uh, then we could commence to spraying all the, the frame and all that once we pop those off. Uh, I had a little downtime at the shop. I helped B out. Started to take more shit apart. Uh, I told his ass to do this, but man, we might as well. Uh... Yeah, I kind of want to knock this project out and it looked like it's going to take us a few, a little bit longer than we, when we anticipated, which is fine. I ain't tripping as long as we stay working on it. That's all I ask. Uh, so I took this wheel well off. I hate that uh, that Cadillac made these hoes plastic, dog, because paint don't stick on them that good. Hopefully we could restore these. Hopefully we could clean it up and just have the black plastic look on them. Uh, still going to be hard, but actually it'd be better. That way he could paint, paint this top of the frame real nice and, and neat. And then we'll throw them back in there. Oh yeah. Definitely got to look worse before it looked better, right? Yesterday uh, B came through. Uh, got the other fender well off. Did a little bit more cleaning. Man, we still got some more to go. As a matter of fact, it was good that it rained hard last night. It actually helped it out. <laughs> uh, man, as you can see, we still got a whole bunch of crud that's like stuck on there, stuck on there. Uh, you, man, we probably could have already slapped the other motor in for sure. But I mean, I told B if he wanted to go ahead and clean it up, we might as well clean it up and try to make it look nice. It's a number elbow grease, y'all, really. I mean, it won't take you much money to do this it's just sitting here hours scraping at this gunk like look at this shit right here like oh my god that, that's like gunk you talking about years and years on there but if you look down there it looked like a, a pile of mud and it went through mud and this stuff but uh some people don't care about it some people do i just think if we're gonna throw this motor in we're gonna just take the extra time which is now turning into way more than i thought but it is what it is Hopefully the outcome is gonna uh, y'all see the difference in it and really it's he's doing it more for him Honestly, it's up to him if he ain't want to I could have slapped his motor in already be trying to get it running right now Ugly like it was, you know Y'all know I've been having troubles with the winch. Well Hopefully this is it the whole time. I was trying to catch ground 
I was clamping it, it wasn't just catching ground. So hopefully that was it. I'm gonna change that red wire too. Hopefully we won't have no issues after that. Got her bolted back down. Got our ground cable nice and tight from the bottom. I'm now gonna put it to a battery and then hook up to the battery. That battery ain't no good. We're gonna get a new one later, but the concept should work. Now I gotta change the posi wire. Look how corroded that hole is. I popped this thing off. Everything looked good up underneath there except that wire. So hopefully once we replace that wire, this should be working back again, hopefully. Chonguitos. It looks a little weird right now, but I gotta check it first. I think it's gonna work. Sí, dale. Tírale tantito. No tienes que ponerle tanta fuerza. No, 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 más poquito. Dale. Dale, dale. Ponle tensión. Dale. Yeah, I want to unravel it too. Hell yeah. Cuidado atrás, que no te caigas. <laughs> Hell yeah, that bitch is working good. Okay, le va a calar para 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 adentro. Ah, está jalando bien. Okay, le va a dar paso afuera. Hell yeah, look like it's working good. There we go. We got that thing wired up. That battery ain't no good, but when I put a fresh, a new battery, it's gonna be cool. And I can still put the jumper cables a lot easier to hook them up. It was just the, all the wires were corroded and the ground wasn't good. So we back in action. Well, we're not fully back in action. Let me try to uh, beat, these beat this lid into submission, son. Shit, not perfect, but we got that bitch back working. We can't afford a new one right now. <laughs> I do want to replace it actually. A little bit later. Well, as y'all know, I'm back at the shop. I went ahead and just said, man, I'm gonna make my truck a road service truck. Hopefully make a little bit more bread while I'm here. Too bad, th too bad is I needed it today on the way to work. <laughs> I left my truck. It's been here at the shop because we've been working on the truck, getting it ready for road service. I brought the lack today because it was a Saturday. I'm gonna post it right here in the front for sale for a little bit. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. I came. I was also gonna put my originals back up on there, just cause it does rub a little bit in the back. I don't want to. I didn't want to mess up these wheels from driving it too much. Uh, and then look, we had a blowout. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was right around the corner. Uh, I was at the light and boom, on the floor. So I just rolled it. You know, you never want to roll a uh, car flat, but I was literally around the corner right there on Fuquay. It was a blowout. Made it to the shop. <laughs> I got that thing back on the floor. It look horrible without her caps. We're gonna slap them help caps back on this boy though. And the skirts, that's the that's the one I'm I'm most excited about. Not the help caps. I mean, yeah, y'all see the difference. Look at the difference. God dang. But I'ma love it when we got the skirts back on this hoe. One of my favorite parts about this car. Oh yeah, we back gangster with it. Loading down skirts on this car. Two of my favorite things, the skirts and having no post on the windows. I gotta back up because y'all know this one's extra long. <laughs> Ooh, it did look good on the uh, swingers, but man, this thing rolled beautiful on the stocks. You know, them swingers is heavy. Uh, man, we shut down the shop. It's a beautiful day. I just wish I had AC in this car. That sun's all up in my eye. <laughs> Sun. It's not too hot, though. Uh, I was about to head home, but as a matter of fact, I've been meaning to go to this sneaker store. Actually, uh, Space City Heat. Owned by ATM and uh, well, that's uh, the little homie uh, Day Day's pops. Uh, I've been meaning to go by, and literally it's like 10 minutes from the shop. So I said, you know what? Let's go right now before I head home. Uh, I don't even know if they open today. Hopefully it is. Maybe they're not open. I don't know. Uh, but let's go check out Space City Heat. 
out first day with the hat deal. Moms had me at 15. How I make it here? I got a hustle. Hey, you already know I'm rocking the air. They got doors organic. Cardo. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, the, uh, the front glass pretty sick, got the big ass four on that hoe. Says open, let's see what they got. Alright, we checking out the 9.5 10 section. They got a lot of good stuff I like, that's the problem. I really like, y'all know I'm on my Air Max tip right now. I kind of like these right here. They're a little wild, but they're a little different, nine and a half. These, maybe. And y'all know I love the ones. The only problem with the ones, everybody named Mama wearing the ones right now. That's kind of why I wanted to stay off the ones. But y'all know I have the, I could give me a fresh pair of these. Can't go wrong with these at all. Damn. Which one y'all cop? These blues right here too. I like them. They're not quite the Royals, but they kind of look like it. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really leaning towards these patterns right here, boy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna wear with these hoes, but... They got a lot of selection. Y'all people that like the Yeezys, they got a lot of Yeezys. Ooh. Right here in Pearland. They're not too far from the Beltway, honestly. Y'all come check them out. Got a good selection out here, boy. A lot of dunks. Look like kids in female size right here. Damn. This is crazy right here. I like them. Huh? Y'all like that print action? Hey, some of a girl could probably make these look real good. I'm going to think for a little bit, but I think I'm going to knock off them uh, Air Maxes. We'll see. Check it out, y'all. I'm not good with white, but I'm kind of eyeing these, though. I like these. I remember these came out like when I was in high school. These are the remakes, obviously, or whatever. But I like these. I don't know if it's between the patterns and these. But like I said, man, everybody named Mama wearing the ones right now. I really was trying to get off of them. It's a hard, it's a good hard decision. Got some shorts and some jersey actions too. Ooh, I like these. Old school. Dion's right? I believe those are the Dion's. Ooh, those are sick. I love them shorts. I think I made my decision, guys. I think I'm going to cop them uh, Air Maxes. I really was liking these. I ain't going to lie to you. But man, too much white for me. Ooh, and then these. These are a gem, y'all. I would get these, but man, my feet gonna be hot in these. They all plastic, but they a gym actually. Hey, they actually underglow is a glow in the dark. I ain't gonna lie. Check it out. This from when uh, the All Star game when they when the Galaxy phone posits came out. But these are the the other ones that came out. With man, that whole pack of basketball shoes back then was tight. But yeah, for sure, man. These are a gym right here. I just can't wear them right now. <laughs> I don't hoop or nothing, so. But this is definitely a gym. They got some old school stuff in here. Plus, you know, all the hot shit. All the hot shit. Y'all come through. Watch out. I got a special box, too. I don't know what they mean or nothing. You know, they probably got something behind it. A fist. What's that? Team Patty. I know Patty got a lot of uh, collabs and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch out. Extra laces. Man, I like these. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with these. Hold on, what this got? An extra goodie? A little satchel? What's that? Oh, that's pretty sick. I don't know if those are some charms or what. That's some, some foreign flag, right? I, I'm gonna do some research on these. 
Hell yeah, we gonna get these. Yes, sir. Check out this jam. I was about to leave already. I had to ooh, turn around. Look, I guess this one's the barbershop influence. Look at the little uh, Dubray, the gold little clipper thing. Man, that's nice. Some of these dunks be wild. I like that. All right, that was a cool store. Like I said, y'all gonna visit right here, Space City Heat. Uh, it's off telephones, uh, 35 Highway 35, or I don't know the address, but uh, y'all look Google up, it'll come right up. It ain't too far from the Beltway. We copped us some uh, some Air Max, Air Max. Well, I'm on my Air Max tip. They had a clean, a lot of clean Jordan ones. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I wanted to get, but you know what? The Air Max is kind of weird. We'll see what we do with them. <laughs> How we gonna style the profile? Them. But day day one day, he was supposed to give me his uh, employee discount, dog. <laughs> Now y'all go check out Space City Heat in Pearland for show. Oh, y'all see that 6-4 in traffic? Damn, son.